hello everyone now i am going to start fundamental of closed loop control of dc motor drive so before the start of closed loop control of dc motor drive let us start mathematical behavior of dc motor drive so to study that part here we have taken separately excited dc motor now this is the armature in this there is a production of back emf and now this is motor shaft in which uh, electrical power coming here that is eb into ia that is going to convert into mechanical power that is torque into omega and uh, these are the electrical parameter uh, this, uh, this is the armature resistance and uh, of armature armature and uh, la armature inductance ia current flowing through the armature vt is the terminal voltage given to armature now come to field system now this is a separately excited dc motor and here uh, supply given to it is vf current flowing is if so we are talking about armature control dc motor it means field flux required to maintain constant that is and this is possible when field current is constant okay it means here uh, the field current is kept constant so that whatever flux produced is whatever flux is produced by this winding that is made constant so some notations are ra armature resistance in ohm la inductance of the armature in henry ia armature current in ampere vt terminal voltage in volt eb back emf in volt t motor torque in newton meter theta angular displacement of motor shaft in radian j that is the equivalent moment of inertia in kg meter square f not equivalent viscous friction coefficient of motor and load refer to motor shaft that is newton meter per radian second per second and uh, to start let us start the torque equation of dc motor so we know that if a machine is designed as a dc motor so torque equation is equal to t is equal to p phi z i a upon 2 pi a where p is the number of poles phi is the flux po, flux per pole z is the armature conductor i a is the armature current a is number of parallel path in the armature 2 pi is simply a constant now if a machine is already designed it means number of poles total armature conductor number of parallel path these are constant it means for a already designed machine torque proportional to flux into armature current and here we are studying armature controlled dc motor it means we are keeping the flux as a constant it means torque proportional to armature current so to remove the proportionality there is a introduced Con constant kt which is a motor torque constant it means torque that is motor torque is equal to kt into ia now from this we got equation number 1 now come to emf equation of dc motor so we know that emf equation of dc motor is p phi nz upon 60 a where again p number of poles phi flux per pole capital n speed of armature in revolution per minute capital z total armature conductor capital a number of parallel path in the armature so again if a machine is already designed it means eb that is back emf is directly proportional to flux into armature speed because rest part are constant so again we are discussing here for armature control so flux is again constant it means e proportional to n where n is the speed in revolution per minute rpm and we can write it also like 
e proportional to omega where omega is also a speed which is in radian per second so e is equal to kb into omega where kb is a back mf constant and omega can be written as a d theta over dt so we got that eb is equal to kb d theta over dt remember whenever we denote as a small letter you, we whenever we use as a small letter it means we are talking about for instantaneous value so now apply kvl in main circuit towards the armature side so for this simple case of voltage law vt minus voltage across ar uh, armature resistance that is iara plus voltage across this inductance minus la di over dt and minus back mf is equal to zero so now come to main equation so we got la dia over dt plus raia plus eb is equal to terminal voltage now come to torque equation now again come to main circuit see whatever supply is given that is vt into ia that is the electrical input power after some losses there is a power in armature that is eb into ia that is going to convert into mechanical power means torque into omega and whenever the mechanical power that is torque into omega so obviously some part of it is going to utilize to do some useful work and some part is also going to use as a waste means as a waste is of energy that is in terms of friction windage and so on so if we talk about for motor torque so motor, what will be motor torque motor torque will be j d2 theta over dt square plus f naught d theta over dt this is uh, frictional this is due to friction and this is acceleration due to acceleration angular acceleration so motor torque is equal to j times d2 theta over dt square plus f naught d theta over dt is equal to motor torque and we already find uh, found that motor torque is equal to kt into ia that is equation now this is equation number four now starting from one to four find the laplace transform of this equation and not one just from the equation number two to four find the laplace transform so if we find found the if we find the laplace transform of equation number two we will get eb in s domain that is equal to kbs th theta s equation next now this becomes equation number five and come to equation number three laplace of this s into l a i a s plus r a i a s plus e b which is function of s is equal to v t which is function of s s l a i a s plus r i a s plus e b s is equal to v t s now this i a s is equal to v t s minus e b s upon s l a upon r a plus r a this is equation number six now again come to torque equation now take laplace of this with zero initial condition so this becomes s square j theta s f naught s theta s is equal to motor torque so see here s square j theta s plus s f naught theta s is equal to kt ias now from here find out theta s which is the output variable that is kt upon s square j plus s f naught into ias now this becomes theta s is equal to kt upon s times sj plus f naught into ias equation number seven now one by one draw the block diagram of equation number five six and seven see uh, in this in equation number five theta s is multiplied by multiplied with kb into s so there is a obtain of ebs okay come to block diagram 
theta s multiplied by kbs so there is a ebs remember in this circuit in this in the come to main circuit here vt is the input terminal voltage input supply voltage and because of this supply whatever angular speed are d2 theta d theta over dt square our angular position these are the output variable so it means whenever we design block diagram we should always remember that keeping in mind that theta at the output side and terminal voltage at the input side okay now come to circuit uh, means block diagram see theta s as a output variable that is multiplied with kbs is equal to ebs that is equation number 5 so equation number 5 is completed now come to equation number 6 see here vt that is input voltage minus ebs it means we required a summer summing point okay see there is a summing point summing point vt input voltage minus ebs here summing point so here will be error voltage and after this vt minus eb multiplied by 1 by this term 1 by sla plus ra see 1 by sla plus ra is equal to ia so is equal to equation number 6 ia simple remember vt minus ebs so for this there is a requirement of summing point multiplied by 1 by sla plus ra remember this point so this become armature current see this one vt minus ebs multiplied by this term 1 by sla plus ra is equal to ia armature current now come to equation number 7 c kt upon s times sj plus f not i repeat kt upon s times sj plus f not into ias it means there will be a signal which is coming ias now that signal is multiplied by with this gain this is simply kt upon s times s j plus f not okay see ias see ia that is current current signal which is coming it is multiplied with kt upon s times s j plus f not that is equal to theta s remember theta s as a output variable now just include block block number this from equation number 5 block which is coming from equation number 6 block which is coming from equation number 7 now just include 1 by 1 see input that is the vt minus eb here error voltage that is multiplied with 1 upon sla plus ra is equal to ias i hope this is equation number 6 now this ia this armature current is multiplied with kt upon s times sj plus f not equation number 7 that is theta s see theta s now we got this theta s and ebs so what is relation between theta s and ebs come to from equation number 5 see theta s is multiplied with kbs is ebs theta s is multiplied with kbs that is equal to ebs so now there is a block diagram of armature controlled separately excited dc motor so if we remove this s from here so we can represent this block diagram in terms of this we know that if we integrate 
speed we will get position it means angular speed if integrated so angular position will be obtained so for integration that is 1 by s and so this becomes theta dash s which is multiplied with kb is equal to ebs so simply uh, feedback is taken from the theta s feedback is taken here from the derivative of theta s so s will be removed simply s is giving the information about the differentiation remember 1 by s is giving information about integration s is giving information about differentiation so if there is a requirement to remove this s from here so simply what we do we use a integration we use integration that is 1 by s so obviously this is speed now speed is directly taken as a feedback with const with multiplication of kb so there is a back emf eb okay now this is the main block diagram of separately excited dc motor where theta s that is angular position as an output variable r and vt terminal voltage given to armature as an input variable remember this v input variable is electrical input and this theta s is mechanical output we can take output as a angular speed also means theta dash s also okay so depending upon the requirement so after this we we will start to move about formation of its closed loop automatic control okay so for this remember one thing that which part is going to change so simply whatever converter here we are we are going to use so that part vt terminal input voltage that is going to change it may be dc to dc converter which is called as dc chopper or maybe ac to dc converter which is known as rectifier if we are using power diode so simply there will be uncontrolled rectifier if you are using SCR family members means maybe IGBT maybe power MOSFET maybe thyristor so here will be controlled rectifier 